Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so uh, let's have a look what Sagittarius are going to experience throughout the upcoming week. And uh, let me shuffle and the first thing that we're going to have a look at is going to be your love and relationship life. Alright, so the first card we got for you guys is going to be the Five of Cups. Uh, moving next, we do have the Ten of Cups, followed by uh, the Ten of Swords, and uh, the last one here that will be the King of uh, the King of Cups. Mm. So let's uh, let's bring the cards one more time before we jump into it, because it's uh, it's quite intense. Okay, so first one. Uh, we do have the Five of Cups, moving next is going to be the Ten of Cups, followed by uh, the Ten of Swords, and the last one we have is the uh, King of Cups. Right, so uh, this thing does um, affect more to people that are in rather a rocky situation in term of, uh, in term of their relationship cycle. All right. Now, regardless if you are single or if you are in a in a relationship in general, should you are you should you be facing some kind of a predicaments or a plight uh, within the relationship or within the interaction itself? It does look like that you will have to chew it down and pretty much leave it behind your back. So that plight that you do have, that argument or that trouble, that problem, it is uh, it is there or it is rather existing having those cards around because you pay attention to it or because you are giving it, uh, giving it your attention. And the more attention you give, the more the problem grows. So as soon as you pretty much ignore the problem, the problem disappears, okay? And, uh, it will come down to your nature after that. Can you keep up with uh, the path that you have chosen, meaning the person that you are with or the uh, love interest that you are trying to get to or to trying to make the things uh, to work for you? Uh, the guidance of the cards, or rather like the suggestion of the cards themselves, it is that you should keep up with uh, with the agenda, you should keep up with uh, that person and give the situation, not just to them, but to the situation in general, a, uh, a, a second chance. Now the question stands, you know, why um, these plights are there in the first place. Well, that is because we do have the Ten of Cups here into the second position and that card points that at that particular stage, whatever you both have to offer to each other, it's simply not enough and each one of you simply wants more or wants the things in a different way, which cannot be given at that particular stage. And for that reason, you both need to pretty much 
leave leave that argument behind you. It's like stop paying attention to it, and the argument is uh, is going to disappear. And as soon as the argument disappear, then some kind of a um, a, a new offer comes around, new offer in the sense of, uh, you know, proposition to how the, the situation is going to move forward. That proposition may come from you. It may come from your person of interest or from your partner as well. It doesn't really matter, but the offer is going to be much more balanced than, um, than the expectations, if you will, uh, in the initial plight or a problem that you may have. Now, those that are in rather problemless relationships or, or they do not have any problem whatsoever, uh, then this particular uh, week is going to be all about realizing the the potential uh, and the details or rather like the, the small details in there that are actually making you feel happy in the relationship and, and nurture them and kind of like pay a respect is the best way how I can explain it. Uh, how I can explain it to them. And those that are looking for love with those energies of tarot that we do have, um, it's pretty much uh, talking about uh, redirecting yourself to another to another person uh, without having much of an expectation to your current a uh, person of interest or, yeah, to current person of interest or to your current a social circle because whomever, what the card points is that whomever likes you is going to approach you, you know. There is no excuse for those that are not addressing you kindly or are not approaching you. There is no excuse such shyness, fear and etc. So as they don't give you the attention, they do not deserve your attention either. So that was uh, that was about your love, uh, love life, Sagittarius. Now let's have a look what your career situation is going to be. Alright, so the first card in terms of your career is going to be the Strength card. Moving next, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, followed by uh, the Six of Pentacles. And the last one here, uh, that is going to be the Six of Swords. So those, um, those four cards. And according to those cards, there is some certain a stream or a flow that you are to be involved in at the start of the week that is going to be quite an enthusiastic flow. What I mean is that you are going to be quite eager to uh, jump into it, to be involved in it and to perform into the flow itself, which flow could be a project, it could be a new proposition, opportunity, new job, etc, etc. The thing is that uh, probably you're not realizing how attached you are going to become to it in a sense of that you are going to be, um, well, yeah, the word is attached. I would have said having uh, or building up strings that will hold you to your word, it will hold you to the project, it will hold you to the job. So if you don't intend to um, be there or be with that thing, be with that project for a long run, then it's uh, kind of like advisable for you to pretty much deny it. Because once again, you will have to carry on with this thing for a, a long time long a uh, time and another thing here it is that uh, the hierarchy is going to be brought to bear as well which means that uh, should you take your place which, whichever that place is nobody is going to intervene with your work and nobody is going to intervene with the place itself meaning no competition you know meaning no messing around with anybody else's business including your business as well but unfortunately as well it means that you cannot climb any higher so you are hired for a specific job to be done and you do just only that job and nothing else and you can't hope anything else to come out of it so whatever contract or whatever conditions you do negotiate at the start, uh, it will be for the rest of the duration of the project or of the enterprise itself. Now, the good thing here, it is that while you are moving along with this enterprise, either like said job or a project, you always going to be able to find 
the the right measures and under the right measures I mean um, the right volume of incorporation or of manifestation in it and why and and by that you will be able to pretty much address your family uh, and your work um, I don't know how to say it your friends and your work in other words you you are going to be rather in a balanced state here and even if you do have to put more attention into one of the other uh, you will be able to explain yourself pretty well to the other that you are not giving attention into so you're not going to be held accountable or rather like placed in a bad spot with your back against the wall you're not going to be addressed with guilt from those that you are not giving attention uh, attention into and so where all that thing um, it's leading into well it's leading into some kind of a, uh, a traversion of a threshold uh, that is what the uh, six of swords uh, speaks about uh, that kind of like we will uncover a new opportunities or new shores to conquer but that is after the manifestation takes place which is uh, for a quite of a uh, which is going to be in a quite a while it's not going to be throughout uh, throughout this particular week and also uh, with the six of swords people are going to be united under the common cause so uh, if in your job right now everybody is pulling into their own direction you can expect by the end of the week that people are going to become more consolidated with a more united vision and uh, pretty much the job or the uh, pushing the product forward will become much more easier than uh, than before those who are looking for job here with uh, with those cards the only thing that they pretty much point it is just a temporary one that's uh, that is going to serve as a should you have a chance to get the job throughout this week is going to be a temporary one that will serve you as a, a stepping stone or a trampoline afterwards to find something much better than the one that you are to find this week or in other words this job that you may find this week is going to only be and an opportunity to severely improve your circumstances but is not going to be the setting stone for the uh, for your career nonetheless so that being said Sagittarius this was your weekly uh, general tarot readings hopefully uh, you do enjoy them and you do like them guys and um, with that being said we may see each other around until then Bye.